school had several challenges regarding its web filtering. We were with a supplier who offered very little filtering. It wasn't meeting government regulations. Um, it was filtering top level only. Uh, so we, we had no way of filtering out certain, certain videos such as YouTube. We were looking for something that we would be able to release those educational videos but block the rest. It was supplied by the council so we had no control over it. Uh, there was no reporting. If another school added into that filtering system, it would then filter to ourselves, uh, which wouldn't always be what we wanted. Um, so we'd be constantly fighting a, a losing battle almost. Using the smooth wall filtering and the safeguarding portal on it, we can see where students are maybe lacking in education. They may be accessing explicit content. We can look at the trends around that. Is it a certain group of, of students? Uh, is it happening in certain areas? Um, is it a certain type of site they're trying to access? But it's also got the safeguarding in it, which was quite a big area for the school. For our safeguarding lead to be able to access it, and see exactly who's won what and what risks have been seen and caught by this move well as well. That was one of the, the biggest things that we saw and thought, yeah, that's really what we need. We have to protect our students and we have to know that our students are safe. The, the filtering on it is clever enough to actually see something that we haven't necessarily blocked, but it, it's seeing that live filtering side of it and it's picking up and alerting us. We don't have to monitor on a 24 hour basis. The smooth wall is there and it is filtering and we know it's working and we know we can rely on it uh, to do its job. Mm -hmm.